Well, hello. So I am back with another bag. This is actually from Three Speckled Fawns. I did a kind of Three Speckled Fawns review video uh, a few months ago because I'd gotten a custom messenger bag that I bought from someone on the boards. She had a custom um, bag made. And I did my own thing with it and reworked it. But this one is a just as she sold it bag from Three Speckled Fawns. She did a flash sale on her Instagram. And this is the first of the two-tone bags that she made. And I've been looking for a black tote bag because I have both the Whipping Post tote and the Chic Sparrow Rustic tote just in brown. And so I was looking for a black bag and I loved the, just the contrast here. It just really seemed to class it up. It's not just a plain black tote bag. And so I knew I had to have it. The price was great and it included shipping. So I snatched it up. So this is what I have moved into for winter. And I wanted to do just a quick overview as well as a what's in my bag. For those that have watched my other videos, not too much has changed for what's inside, um, but just to give you an overview of the bag itself. So the top is the Shine Leather, um, which it's a goldish leather that is just really gorgeous. It does shine in the light. And then the black, I believe it's the black Essex leather. I'll correct myself if I'm wrong about that. That's what I believe it is. The straps are of the same material as the leather in the bag. And it's a very floppy, very soft and squishy leather. It feels wonderful. The only drawback, especially with the straps being the same leather, is that they are somewhat flimsy. Uh, with the Whipping Post tote and the Chic Sparrow Rustic tote, the straps are made out of a thicker leather. Um, so you can see, maybe you can see, sorry I can't reach the camera to zoom in, but it's a pretty thin leather for the straps. So it is very soft, but it doesn't have quite the, um, the thickness and the, trying to figure out the right word for it, um, but it's what you would feel to have, a, to feel more confident in the sturdiness of the straps. Uh, but they are riveted in, two rivets on each side, and are holding up really well. She does all of her own hand stitching. This is her, Carissa is her name. So all of this is hand stitched beautiful detailing you can see the bottom this is a bucket bag because she has three sizes a medium large and extra large of her totes and this is actually a bucket bag and when i had seen the bucket bag before pictures on instagram i really wasn't sure if i would like the proportions i worried that it was just too tall for how wide it was but honestly i really am liking it it seems to be a pretty perfect size for me at least on this one the edges are kind of raw it's not, the seams are not on the inside. There is one seam on each side. So it does give it kind of an unfinished look. Um, I'm still on the fence as to how I feel about the seams being on the outside instead of the inside like that, for the sides at least. I like it on here when the transition from the two different kinds of leathers. I like the visible seam there, but I'm undecided about how I feel about this. But I'm guessing since she does so much custom work that if you wanted the seams on the inside, she might be able to do that. Don't quote me on it, but if that would bother you, then it's something that I bet she might be able to do something different. So you can see the inside here. Here is her tag that she sews in nicely. And this one came with the one big, it's black on the inside, so it's kind of hard to see. Sorry about that. But it came with the one big pocket on this side. And the other side has the divided smaller pocket, two pin pockets, and a long, nice long key fob. So that all came with this one, but she, as I said, she customizes everything. And so she can add those things. She can also add dividers. You can change the strap length. This, I believe, they were either 10 or 11 inches, I think. And again, I bought it on a flash sale, so this was not a custom request for me. It was ready to ship. So, overall, I'm really pleased with it. If you watched my last bag, I'd had some issue with the Messenger. It was a, I'm not sure exactly, I think it was a Butterscotch Horween leather was the one. And my only issue with that, I love the way the leather felt, loved the bag itself, but anytime I wore a light colored fabric, the dyes would rub off. So I ruined a white dress that I love. So I was kind of sad about that because um, it's a Messenger crossbody strap. 
on that one. But so far I haven't had any issues. Um, I don't think I've, I haven't worn anything white because it's after Labor Day and no Southern girl wears white after Labor Day, right? But uh, uh, I haven't had any issues with any of the lighter color things that I have worn. So I'm hoping that this, that, that was just an anomaly in the bag that I got before. Let's go ahead and go in so we can show you just how much it holds. Here is, again, sorry that it's all black so it's kind of hard to see, but here is an inside shot before we get into it. In the pockets, currently all I have, I have my Annika Hanby um, passport size traveler's notebook that I use as a brain dump. This goes with me everywhere, and so that's all that I have in the pockets at the moment. But I will stick, especially in the larger pocket, I will stick receipts. If I don't have a pocket for my phone, then I will stick my phone. I have an iPhone 5, and it fits perfectly in this one. And sometimes I'll stick a couple of pins in here. I don't have anything at the moment. Key fob, obviously I've got my keys on there. I have a church bulletin. I have a lot of little Orla Kylie pouches. So this is my snack pouch for my kids. Usually I have a couple of granola bars, but the kids were into them at church this morning, so I don't have any at the moment. Um, I've just got a plum baby squeeze pouch and some spray hand sanitizer. Another Orla Kylie pouch. This is my just like everyday essentials sort of thing. So I've got some Thieves hand sanitizer. We've got some Bath and Body Works. This is the uh, pumpkin spice latte from last year. Hand sanitizer. I don't know if they have it again this year, but I got it last year. Pack of Kleenex. A, a phone recharger thingy. Some Burt's Bees lip balm. EOS lip balm. A purse hanger. I got this because I thought it would be really useful, except that all of my bags are too heavy because I carry too much with me. So it doesn't always work, but it's there just in case. A rogue band aid that slipped out and has a little pocket here. In the pocket, I also have this is the iPhone tip for the phone charger. Let's see, I've got a couple of these Starbucks. This is a little plug so you can keep your drink lot longer because a lot of times they run out and so I always like to have them handy. A little eyebrow brush thing. Swiss Army knife. Stamps and uh, safety pins all clipped together. Oral-B brush ups. Shout wipe. And hand wipe and the band-aid. So that is all that is in this little bag here. I have in my ouch pouch, which has some sunblock, lip balm, there's some Advil in here, a couple of band-aids, this is calendula ointment in a little tub, um, and then a lollipop just in case I need to bribe my kids. I usually have my Diva Cup in here, but not at the moment. And the last pouch is my pin pouch. This is from Made with Planner Love on Etsy. She's Made with Love Crafter on Instagram. And it's a nice leather pin pouch, lots of room. This is one of the first ones she made. So her new ones have the elastic integrated in, but the original ones just had a little piece of elastic, so I put a charm on it to dress it up some. So in here I have got a Staples One Touch Adhesive Roller, Vic Whiteout, a little thing of sciz little scissors. I have a, a friction slim. I'm not sure if that's focusing or not because I can't see the camera well enough. Sorry about that. I have a friction highlighter. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven Target Dollar Spot pins. I'm slightly addicted. If you've watched my channel and seen some of my pin pouch videos, you will know that. They of full adhesive post-its a couple of cards with washi on them, a pack of Target page flags. These are some of the older ones. They're kind of dinged up from being in my bag, which is blasphemy because that design goes for like $50 on eBay. It's ridiculous. Um, a couple of paper clips, and that is it. I love these little pouches. I have quite a few of them that I use for various things. They're so cute. All right, and the last thing I have in here is my Kate Spade Wellesley Agenda. So 
this is different, this is new. I'm going to do a setup video of this here. I'm trying to film, hopefully I'm gonna be able to film later this week and get it up for you by next week. Um, but this is what I'm currently in for my planner and my wallet. So, it's all empty here. It holds a decent amount. This gives you a better look. There's the single pocket. And let me flip out on the other side for you the divided pocket, so two pins and then a half pocket. It's perfect size for a cell phone. And so, yeah, I am loving it so far. It adds the nice, a nice bit of dress to my tote bag collection, but it is also, um, it holds a lot. I mean, it's very utilitarian as well as being pretty. She offers her two-tone design in any of her leathers. She has a lot of different leather options. There are just so many customization off, off options that Carissa does. And everything is hand-sewn and really, she really values her craftsmanship and really is uh, just supporting her family with this business. So definitely check her out. I will link below her Instagram and her Etsy shop because um, a lot of times she will sell things through her Instagram, either a flash sale or just letting you know what's going to be available. So definitely follow if you're on Instagram. And uh, thank you so much for watching. As I said, I'm going to hopefully be able to film later this week a video showing this beauty, another impulse buy, which is the story of my life lately. Um, but if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Love for you to subscribe and see what else we've got coming up. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.